We have new details tonight in a crash that took the lives of a UGA football player and staffer. And we got our hands on that incident report. It says speed was a contributing factor. 11 Alive Joe Ripley joins us now with more on the details of those involved in the crash, Joe. Yeah, we did get that report, Ron. Good evening to you. One football player and staffer continue to recover tonight. Meantime, that incident report states Georgia offensive lineman Devin Willock was ejected and died there at the scene. Chandler Lee Croy, a UGA staffer, was driving an SUV when she lost control. I spoke with her friends to learn about her impact on their lives. Kathy Thornton first met Chandler Lee Croy in 2012 when Chandler joined the Stevens County High School cheer squad. She just got things done. Um, anything you needed her to do, you just you just asked and, and she just took the initiative. Despite an age gap of more than 30 years, these two became close friends, even when Chandler went off to college at the University of Georgia. She graduated from UGA with a master's degree in 2020, then joined the school's athletic department as a recruiting analyst. Hard work. Uh, she's a go-getter. Nunu Walker knew Chandler long before her college days. The two met in middle school. The most genuine person you could ever meet. Yeah, I mean... If it was something you couldn't tackle or something you couldn't figure out, you put it on her place, you'd be sure to get it figured out and be able to, you know, get you through it. Walker says Chandler helped him get a job. Their friend group traveled and made plans together, but plans can often change. Chandler and UGA football player Devin Willick lost their lives in a car crash Sunday morning. Willick's teammate and another staffer were hospitalized. The crash happening hours after the Dogs National Championship victory parade. In a flash, at 24 years old, Chandler Lee Croy's life was gone. And she said, I just want you to see my name every day. And I haven't seen her name since Saturday morning about noon. Funeral services for Chandler are now set for tomorrow in her hometown of Tacoa.